Then he starts talking about Dax Harwood. It's like, wait, what? I'm going to wait until I'm going to wait until uh, we get a little bit more footage so that, you know, possibly like little Rhea actually speaking. And uh, before I re-edit the trailer and add everybody in. I'm unqualified. I feel very, I shouldn't say. Oh, that's not what I heard last yeah. week. <laughs> I heard we were going to hear some great takes from you. Yeah, I heard. Uh, I do got, I got some solid takes. I just, you know. I'm not going to say any of them. <laughs> I'm, I'm just waiting for us to talk more about AEW. <laughs> yeah, I'm waiting. I'm waiting, I'm waiting yeah, for the. Uh, I'm just waiting for the. the I don't the, really... the, the, ep- the episode just about Rhea. Says when we do that episode, I'm gonna talk nonstop. But until yeah. then, you keep talking about fucking live. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so all right, everybody, this big Papa Crump, and welcome to is kind of what's take two of this podcast because last week uh, technology failed me, and uh, so later there's going to be clips that I was able to salvage from that episode, um, including the uh, debut of Scooby, uh, aka Jesse, aka the guy who did couldn't make the second this this week so i don't know if he was paying attention uh, he might i need to remind him every week <laughs> oh oh it's gonna be one of those oh okay. he shows up he's already been on more podcasts than one member yeah fair uh well technically two but of course the other one i don't think we're ever going to have gambler on uh just because right. i think he he likes to live in the shadows which he, is fine. We need to get like a he, picture of the vacant guy from like, when the title's vacated. And that's just him. Yeah, I uh, and then we'll just we. If, oh, oh man! If I only had the, the 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 software for this, where it's like we could just like do the thing where we have like the outline, but we have like somebody's mouth, just like <laughs> yes, looks like thumb wars, you know. Yep, but um, yep. I'm down for that, hundred yeah. percent. But but I like to think of uh, of Gambler as our own little Sith Lord. He's just kind of hiding in the shadows. So sorry, it's Star Wars week, you know. Uh, That's oh. over. Yeah, see, I put uh, I put Vader back here, right, uh, to com- kind of commemorate. And then I realized that most of my wall is Star Wars junk. So I didn't really <laughs> that is very true. <laughs> I didn't really need to go that that route, but whatever. Okay, so back to on topic. Um, so what we're going to do is we're gonna we're gonna complain about backlash, and um, and how lame most of the buildups are. Uh, we're not going to we don't do official picks. Uh, I mean, if you if you want to put your pick out, that's fine. But uh, as as per always, the picks are going to be you know in that neat little text montage at the end of the uh, the video. That is now a, a, luckily like for a th- like two minute section of video i have a seven minute song so like as we add members it gets longer but i still have plenty of song there because i use the same one every time but um yeah so kind of going down the list and let's first of all i'm still not i i understand that they either never was planning on doing it or they just realized that oh my God, we don't have Roman on this pay per view, and apparently, like the word out there is that he's still kind of fighting an injury. Yeah. So they're trying to protect him a little bit, but yeah, I I kind of wanted to see the tag titles unified. Yeah. Kind of mad about that. So instead, we get RK Mackenbro. Um. <laughs> so or what was it? Dankwater. Dankline. Dankline. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so Dang, yeah, so you better though. <laughs> so you've got the Bloodline versus um, uh, McIntyre and RK Bro. Fine, it's probably going to be a good match. Uh, Flair and Rousey ver- uh, in an I Quit match, which uh, before we started recording, Junior was worried they were going to pull a uh, Rock McFoley. Uh, Rock McFoley. <laughs> the, the way he said it, I thought he said, like, somebody's name. Um, Edge and AJ, no stipulation on that, right? That's just a straight-up match? Uh, yeah. The only stipulation, kind of, was that Priest is banned. 
from Ring Oh, uh, okay. Right. Uh, I thought maybe like AJ had to join the group or something. No. Uh, oh, I, but is is Finn bad? No. Doesn't no. matter. It's a pay per view. He won't be on it. Mm -hmm. um, you got There's Seth and Cody page. part two in the battle of who has the worst suit. Um, Wait, you don't like the blue suit for Cody? Actually, Cody's suit was fine. Actually, I didn't mind Seth's either. I mean, he he kind of dresses like 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 cyberpunk Riddler every week. Anyways. Dude, I forgot Cody Rhodes had a list, so that promo fucked me up for a second. <laughs> I was like, what does he do? Oh, that's right. <laughs> you got uh, Corbin and Moss in what, what potentially could end up being like one of the best matches on the card, but still don't care. Right. Like, you know, yep. like just in 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 between the ropes, it could be one of the best ones sure. potentially. Mm -hmm. But me, I don't care. Oh, don't did care. he say some stuff you didn't like? And then you've got a uh, Bobby and uh, Omas. Whatever. Speaking of not caring, yeah. So I'm gonna stop talking because I'm tired, and I'm gonna let you guys roll. Let's talk about Bobby and Omas. Okay. So. No. <laughs> that's okay because I was actually waiting for the pause to be like three seconds and be like, well, that's all we had to say. Let's move on. <laughs> right? like, because, like, first of all, you know your feud is going down the toilet when you, you pull out the arm wrestling contest. Yeah, that's a good one. Oh my point. God. I'm, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Isn't that well, like the second one that Bobby Lashley has done? In like a span of like a year, not calendar year, but yeah, who maybe, was the other one? Was it Braun? I, no, uh, no, <laughs> I don't know. It doesn't matter. But I swear to God, he did one. Yeah, yeah no, it was, I, it's a bad time. Or somebody did one, so it's still too many in too short of a time period. Yeah, <laughs> you got to pull that out every like once every decade. Yep. Yeah, right. Because because I I still remember the uh the Triple H Scott Steiner one. And just oh, like, yeah. like Triple H looked like he was like just it just look on his face was like he was holding in a massive shit. <laughs> and it's like, no, see, that's when you're actually doing that, that's not how you look. Right. You know? Yep. But uh but yeah, so but I could care less about that. And I, I think, by the way, I think Omas wins that one because yeah. rubber, you know, rubber match. I'm sure yeah. they'll go and get it. Right. For money in the bank. I definitely have a lot of 50 50s on this because that's always yeah. how backlash is, usually. Right. right. Yeah, because whoever, you... whoever's not going to be in the money in the bank match is going to finish their feuds at money in the bank, pretty much. Yeah. Or the next one. It's not always money in the bank, but. I think yeah, I'm trying. Actually, I, I can probably tell you what the next one is just so we don't refer to it poorly. Um, but yeah, I. I mean, do we even really need to talk about, like, Corbin Moss? I mean, they've already buried the deep six. <laughs> <laughs> yes. No, it was end of days, not the... Oh, yeah, sorry. yeah, that's true. That, yeah, fair enough. I just wanted to say buried the deep six. Just <laughs> yeah, that, that's, I know that, that was for uppercut. Why? He's not going to ever be here. <laughs> um, Actually, no, Hell in the Cell is supposed to be in June, so that should be the next one. Okay, my bad. So then I'll wrap up at Hell in the Cell either way. Yeah. And then, and then, money in the banks, money in the bank, and SummerSlam are in July. No. Oh yeah, that's right. Because money in the banks early July is like the thirty first. Yeah, that's where they write the ship and get back to the end of the month. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, which they actually used to do with Backlash. They used to have yeah. WrestleMania either the last weekend of March or the first weekend in April. And if they had a first weekend yep. in April, they still had Backlash uh, right. at the end of April. And yeah, so whatever. Back when everything made sense. But now it's, oh, um, I've been saying it right now, it's WrestleMania backlash. Right. I still don't like Hell in a Cell in summer. I wish it was the October one. It just fits. I wonder how long they're going to carry this. Is it going to be WrestleMania SummerSlam? <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> WrestleMania, WrestleMania. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, I don't care about Corbin and, 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 and that, like, so I could care less. So let's, let's just get to the meat and potatoes of it all. Yep. Um, does... Not does Rousey win, but how, how convoluted is that end ending going to be? Yeah, and 
Yeah, after I gave my pick, I, I for some reason the gulak factor just left my head completely afterwards. And I'm like, oh yeah, that's right. He's been involved in this heavily for a reason. Yeah, it's going to be very much a schmaz type of finish. And I wouldn't I be surprised if he Jesus. causes Rousey to lose somehow, some way. Even, yeah, yeah, because... Well, didn't haven't they both attacked him? They both beat him up, right? So he, you know. I think Flair's done it like seven times, though. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, I know. He's yeah, but, but Rousey did it. it while signing a contract. Yep, that's so true. With, with the Gulak should respect then and just beat up Charlotte. Stop using real world logic. <laughs> Silly man. It's not well, you know, I almost picked Flair because I was like, nah, they're just going to have Rousey straight. It's going to be a straight up. She's going to put the figure eight on for like six seconds. She's going to be like, I quit, and then actually leave. Because then. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I, I don't know how to do this anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, and then, then really the only other one of note, you know, going into all of this, because, yeah, I know there are other matches, and I, I it, this card is so garbage. Well, no, because... Edge and AJ should still also be a good match, but I can't see no shenanigans yeah. in that one either. Like, so you right. ban Priest, so who's going to be, who is it that Edge is going to bring? It's because I haven't heard any, not since the Rhea rumors died, right. I haven't heard of anybody else coming into this faction. I heard one. But is it Balor? No. All right. It's another female. I heard bliss. Oh. I, I you can kind of do it, but it would be a lot of weird hoopla on why she's there. And and plus, like I don't I don't necessarily know how much sense it makes for her to do something when it comes to AJ. So it doesn't, but neither does really anybody else. Yeah, I, I'm yeah. I just I, yeah. I gotta I gotta remember to use Vince logic. Right. I mean, unless it's Austin Theory, but <laughs> nah, no, no, it, it wouldn't be. I just we were talking about Vince Logic. Yeah, fair. Well, by Vince Logic, it's just going to be a bunch of bots, but uh, trying to trying to talk trash on AEW. But um, <laughs> the uh, and the, I mean, I, I, I think you have to let Finn screw over Edge. Because then you can do at Hell in a Cell, you could do Edge and uh, Priest versus AJ and Balor, and you could honestly probably stretch the Edge AJ thing out till SummerSlam, and then that would be if you have Edge go over to solidify the faction or AJ to push him back towards the title. Like I, again, I'm thinking too. Wow, that's long term booking, but I mean it would work. It's just you have to do something. So AJ would have to win in some capacity this time in order to continue it. Although I said that before, and then somebody lost like seven straight pay-per-views. That was like Corbin Reigns, so I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> I also I'm thinking that uh, that logic also applies to Seth and Cody. I, That's I the think... only one that I don't think it does because I don't think you have Cody lose this early. I, you, I, can, I, you, you can have him lose and get screwed. Right. Yeah. I just that's such a bitch cop out. <laughs> where 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 Alexa Bliss comes out and no, because um, <laughs> Vince. This is true. <laughs> so when Kenny Omega debuts, he was never hurt. He was just joining WWE. Nah, he he's, he works he works for uh, Jukes now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He does. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, uh. So I'm I'm gonna mute everybody except little no, Rhea. Nah, no. no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so um but then and then you know you've got uh you know the bloodline versus days and confused. And that's another one. It's like that's that's actually the one that I'm not so, so sure about because yeah, the they do. can take the loss if you know. Uso one or Uso two gets pinned because you know Reigns isn't taking the pin. Specifically, Jimmy. Jimmy needs to get pinned <laughs> Be because he's one point less. 
Yeah, because he should be one point less. There we go. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> <laughs> it's either mentioned or I'll bring it up myself. <laughs> Get it in there some way. Damn it. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I mean, yeah, but that's... <sighs> I feel like you only have a... Oh, that sounds terrible. I feel like you only have an Uso take the pin if you want to put seeds of dissension because the range would get pissed. Like, yeah, you, dude, I haven't lost in like seven years. What? Like, well, I guess he lost to Seth, but that's, we don't count that because Vince doesn't. So, but like, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like the only way you do that is if you want to do something like that. But why? I don't see, there's no point. I think the Bloodline should win just because they need to keep riding, especially if you're going to have them unify. But I don't know. Well, I, if if you're still go- if they're gonna pursue the unification thing uh, after this, and if they're gonna put the belts on the Usos, so you can give Stoner Club their win now, mm. and then you know so so right. rent Uso Unless, number three. I guess they did the RK Bro did kind of want the unification too. I was gonna say, I feel like that only works if RK Bro won it, and then I realized, oh, they kind of did after the Usos like called him out for it. So at least because they weren't the ones that originally pursued it, they just were like, Yeah, we'll beat you. Like, I don't know. By the way, the tandem R- RKOs to open up Raw yeah. was probably the best thing on the entire show. Agreed. That was great. Yeah, that was tremendous. Yeah, there's too many things that this could do. Like, do you have, like, Randy pin Jay? Do you have Drew pin one of the bloodline? And that's how yes. he laid the claim to the yeah. title. Like, I'm coming after you next. I just beat your cousin. Yep. I just beat one of your 900 cousins. <laughs> yeah, I just beat that Uso. There's, like, eight more, but I beat that one. <laughs> I'll go down to NXT if you want me to. Yeah. I'll beat I was going to say, I beat him so bad, uh, Solo Sokoa felt that. But uh, yeah. I want to work for ROH. Felt it. By the way, that was a good ladder match. Could it or not? Ladder, ladder match, triple threat match. Could have been better. I didn't watch it. I heard it was pretty good. I didn't watch. <laughs> that was sorry. That was just funny. I yeah. forgot that it was spring breaking for a second. And then I saw all oh, you spring missed break tire. Nothing. Yeah. <laughs> that 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 match. First of all. I have no idea what happened at the end there because Braun Breaker's in the way at the end of the match. He's like, you know, because he beat Joe Gacy because no one cares. Why? Yeah, I yeah. didn't care about the match. And then, um, and then suddenly he's standing in the ring, and there are like two Sith Lords in the back. Oh like, yeah, who the- behind him? And it, and then they just okay, show's over. It was Nash Carter and Wesley. Were they, were they with him? Were they with Gacy? Were they separate? No, they, did they, did they, they attack Breaker? They showed a clip, I think, of after it went off yeah. the air and on a they put him on a yeah they attacked or whatever. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. I I typically ignore NXT on YouTube. I get it. I think wow. I saw it in the article or something. That yeah, I'm too I'm too busy watching R slash malicious compliance to check that stuff out. So, <laughs> uh, cheap plug. So, um. I guess, see, I don't want to get too into AEW talk because, you know, we're going to, we're, we, we kind of want to move on to the, the, the actual topic at hand, but I know there's, there's, there's like a little bit of a rinse and repeat with MJF in the whole, like, you have to run the gauntlet to get to me because yeah. he, did, he did it to Punk, but I kind of. He did it actually, to Jericho too. That's like. Yes. Yes, and it, it works with what, yeah, because that's the thing. It's like, oh, so this is how everybody has to get to MJF. So yeah, as long as like that's his thing, right? If he can yeah. find, but um, first of all, I W Morrissey, sorry, I almost called him Big Cast. He <laughs> looked great, yeah, like he just he looked great, yeah. But um, but, but yeah, uh, one power bomb. So he's a big one power bomb though. Yeah, he's S A W F T. 
Which, I mean, that's fine because you're building Wardlow, but I agree with, I think WrestleTalk said it, like, you should have had him struggle to do it. Like, he, he like, Big Cash, or oh, sorry, whatever, Big Cash should have ca- countered it a couple of times, or it was hard to get to, and then when he finally hit it, it worked. Right. But no, he just like, it's like, oh, well. Right. Go back to Impact, bitch. Yeah. Like, Th- I don't- thanks, for, thanks for stopping by. Here's some fare for an Uber. Yeah, right? Here's bus fee. Yeah, yeah, no, hey, yeah, we got you a Greyhound ticket. Yeah, like back to Canada, I guess. That's is that, that's where Impact still is, right? I saw a clip of uh, uh, him and Jordan Grace attacking the Cardona clan, and uh, he put Chelsea Green through a table. But when he, I called it the power boob after I saw it because when he picked her up, he he grabbed her by the chest. When he, when he threw her down, like like she actually tried to grab her top, and make, like wait, let me make sure. Okay, now you can throw me down. And then it was hilarious. <laughs> it was like they like grabbed her by her breasts and power bombed her. That was ridiculous. So yeah, <laughs> I, you know, I was hoping they would, you know, because they're pretty good on social media. I was hoping they'd crack some sort of joke about it, but I didn't see anything. But it was pretty funny. <laughs> I think the. Only other thing with AEW that I truly was like gonna care about was wow, they moved up and punk going for the title quick. Mm. Yeah, it's a little a little faster like, than I thought it was gonna be. And yeah. I, lo- I love how Hangman's playing the heel. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. It's not a full heel turn, but he's being heelish. Yeah, yeah. I like it too. Like I like that it's not oh, it's a friendly competition. Like I like it. it's like I'm ticked off that you're coming for me, so I'm gonna beat the hell out of you. I like it. Yeah. Yeah, I dig it. And we'll we'll do we'll do those predictions right uh, like that weekend. But um, 29th, I, think. I don't think they put the belt on Punk. I think I, I think Hangman so keeps it. I agree. They're they're just gonna have feud after feud until Kenny's like, yeah, all right, I'll come back. <laughs> oh, also, they still have the uh, uh, tag team champions as the mid card tag team feud. I like that. Yeah. So much for my whole. They have the best tag team. Oops, their division. My bad. Well, yeah, and the the other thing, and and, and again, Russell Talk touched on it. Boy, that that uh, Perazzo Martinez match was anticlimactic. Yeah, like it was. it was like I enjoyed the match. I yeah. thought it was. I thought it was good, but mm-hmm. there was like zero build other than right. hey, we're doing yeah. this match on here. You guys right. want to stick around? And yeah, everybody's like, like, yeah, it didn't have a big fight feel to it. Yeah, I didn't like how it was presented. Yeah, the yeah. crowd was just saving their energy for Rampage. <laughs> yeah, okay. Because that's how that works. <laughs> All right. We, are we – whoa. All right. We're ready to go. We're going. All right. So now comes to the part of when, when, whenever you see that behind me, you know it's story time. It's fireside chat with Big Papa Grump time. And usually it's when I talk about how old I am. And – uh Thank goodness you didn't see the one I tried to do last week. So, but this is going to be a long, similar vein for anybody who was here, which there's nobody watching. So, um, when I was a kid, heels were typically, like, (laughs) sorry, you messed me up. But, uh, all right, so way back in the day, you know, you typically, you didn't really have a ton of female heels. You know, you had like Mula and whoever was wrestling Wendy Richter. Right. Um, you you fast forward a little bit, you know, and then you have, um, you know, you had uh, Sherry Martell, as mm-hmm. most people remember as scary and or sensational Sherry. But, you know, back in the day, she was just Sherry Martell. Yeah. And, uh. And yet Luna Vachon was kind of an in was kind of a little bit later, but was still kind of around. Mm-hmm. Uh, and but most of the the female <clears throat> heels were valets. You know, you had Missy Hyatt, uh, Baby Doll, uh, Miss Elizabeth to a lesser extent because she wasn't really a heel. She was just kind of you know there, and she would occasionally, you know, do do like the distracting manager thing. But for the most part, you know, and. As, as you started to get in towards the Attitude Era, then you started to have an influx of like, oh, we've got many more, we've got a lot more talent. 
And so you started to develop, you know, your, your more traditional heel face dynamics, uh, especially for the time, you know, like, uh, and, but you still had like, you know, one week Ivory was a heel and then the next week she was a face. And then the next week Jacqueline was a heel, you know, so you, and it, usually it was over men, you know, cause you know, just the way it went, you know, you had, uh, you know, you had, uh, Terry, the, the, not, not, uh, Terry from, uh, well, she was Marlena at one point, and then she was Terry, but I'm talking about the other Terry that was with DX. Yes. <laughs> that was, mm -hmm. you know, I, th I think uh, as far as, like, impactful in the ring kind of, like, believable kind of female heels interfering, the one that took the cake was China. Yeah. She interfered in every single one of Triple H's matches, and it was just <laughs> like, um, I mean, I can see it. Yeah. Yeah. So, but, uh, but yeah, and so what we're kind of gearing towards now is you've got, you know, we've evolved, uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, because the, you know, over time, you know, you, you, the, again, as the progression of women's wrestling, you know, has kind of, they tried to get equal, but, you know. Look, all it took was Stephanie McMahon creating women's wrestling, and now we have better heels today. Right. By the way, did anybody catch more crazy internet? <laughs> did anybody catch the Stephanie right. McMahon right. evil right. episode? No. no, no, I haven't seen it yet. Is it good? Oh, it was. We it, it came on after all, and of course, you know, Wife of Doom comes out and was like, "Oh, I want to watch this." I'm like, <laughs> every time. So, uh, <laughs> and, and but it was it was a good episode, you know. Uh, right. Going back to the, the the whole starting with her being abducted by the Undertaker and her dad, it was me, Austin, and that was her motivation for screwing him over later, which I thought was like, oh, hey, look, long term booking. Yeah, right. Imagine way that. back, way back when WWE did that. Yeah, weird. But uh, but so the discussion now is is going to be not again. We're not doing a Mount Rushmore, you know. Mm -hmm. um, I don't even care if we like name our top three or anything, but you know, I, I think with the mostly because we didn't in, uh, an episode just on heels and completely didn't mention a single woman because we were too fixated on all, all of the, the guys. We that, missed um, some dudes, so it's fine. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, but I, I think they deserve their own episode as well uh, because there have been some awfully good ones over the years. Um, I'll throw one out. Uh, Edge era Lita. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Was especially because... when Crime Time was uh, selling her panties to the audience right when she was leaving. Great stuff. <laughs> not, not part of the equation, but we'll count wow. really that. Totally forgot <laughs> about that. Dumb uh... stuff that happened with Lita, dude. <laughs> no, I I didn't forget about it, but I just wasn't gonna bring it up. Well, I was. I wasn't letting Lolita talk go without it. Garbage. But, but yeah, see, the thing with Lita being the heel is, first of all, she's had a she always had a weird kind of career with that, you know, because she was yeah. with Kane for a while, and then was carrying his child for a while, and, and so like he killed it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, again, was, this was wasn't his fault. Yeah. <laughs> it was Katie Vicks, but um, <laughs> the uh, but. But her, but the thing with her and Edge was it was that power couple where they were good, mm -hmm. right. and they were like good looking, yeah. And so you hated them for both reasons, right? And <laughs> you know, but but again, that era, of course, it was it climaxed in a uh, <laughs> in, in that whole like live sex show that they had. That was, that was good though because that was really uncomfortable. That was the whole point, and I liked it. Yes. Like I dug yes. the idea. Mm -hmm. But uh, but again, it's still it was still the era of like you know if, if you if you've got a female heel, it, there's got to be a guy involved, right? You know yeah. we we still hadn't gotten past that, but Lita did the best with with uh what she had. Sure. Yeah, because yeah. And I'm surrendering the floor. I mean, there's that same somewhat area, I guess. I mean. Early on, you could look at like Mickey James. She was, I mean, I don't know. If she, I mean, she was a heel, but like, I hers was weird to me because she was just nuts, which right. works. 
Yeah, I like it. Her, yeah. Yeah. yeah, that was her whole intro. Yeah, yeah. that was the uh, Trish Stratus thing, right? That was when she yes, came. Yep. Well, she was yep. like a super fan or whatever, basically, right. was the concept. Yep. Yep. Dressing like her and all that, yeah. I mean, even like, I mean, I don't, eh, like, the, the, the when she came back to WWE stuff, when she was with Alexa Bliss, I mean, she was okay, but she was just kind of like, Part of the mean girl posse basically was the whole concept of that deal mm-hmm. phase but like i don't know and she's now she's like super over so she's not like really a healing impact I, or unless it changed but no, i don't I watch so i no. can't really like she's a base at this point because yeah. chelsea you know, returned on her not that long ago so yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, she does you know give her different characters and stuff and she does well with it which is a really good sign of good heels i mean like if Never mind, it's a dude, so I can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, like, if you look at like Corbin, like he's different versions of him have been good heels. So yeah, that's one of that that's a good criteria for me to look at them is like, you know, are they just the like the scared heel? Can they do crazy? Can they do actual vicious? Can they do like legit evil? And she can do pretty much most of what you put in front of her. So Great. The Lita Trish era. Is there anybody else that was really big like heel? I this is early when I was watching, so I'm heels and faces to me weren't really. I was just like, oh, I like that one, right? <laughs> yeah. So I don't know if I'm missing really anybody that was like huge from that era of heels. I mean, uh, not, like big time. No, I, you know Stephanie McMahon is about it, <laughs> right? You know? And she's, she's probably the biggest one of that era. Regardless of what you do with her, she gets booed because I don't know if it's just because she's Vince's daughter now or claim to create women's wrestling, but she gets booed. So, <laughs> well, she she's got history working against her on that. This is true, right. but I, I mean, mean you, you had like WWE you had some like the Bella Twins were heels when they started. Yeah, right. Um, they bounce between face and heel too much, though. I think. Well, for for most of their early run, they they were heels. You also had like uh, I think Victoria was a heel for a good chunk of her run. Mm-hmm. Um, was, um, I mean, I know this isn't like she's not the greatest, but was like Jelly in a heel for a little bit until the Boogeyman ate her mole. Yeah, yeah, she she was a heel because she was Jamie. <laughs> yeah, she was. <laughs> what? No, I just again I totally forgot about that big <laughs> mole. But there's but, so much crap. Because she, she was so JBL's bad, assistant. Yeah. That's right. She was part of right. that. The basically whatever JBL's family office. Right. <laughs> yeah, you had Eve Torres. Uh, you know, okay. After what she did to uh, not okay. Matt Cardona. Not Matt Cardona. <laughs> to the internet champ. Oh yeah. Dude, Ooh. he got punished for getting himself over, man. Yeah, he did. He got yep. he got he got pushed off the stage in a wheelchair by Kane. Yes, he did. John Cena stole and his girl. And then cocked by John Cena, so yeah. there you go. It's true. Get yourself over, bitch. <laughs> so, he, he, go ahead. The the jump error is a little bit. I, I was going to so, kind of move up to recent times, or at least semi-recent. Um, Heel Bailey, mm-hmm. I think, needs to be acknowledged. Like, she, I mean, not only did she sort of carry, I mean, the women's division for sure, Maybe the entire company, arguably, oh, no. on her back, right, on her back right. during the pandemic era. I mean, she she was it. Um, yeah, her heel work was tremendous on and offline. <laughs> she was because you excellent. hate her. Yes, and that's the point. Like yes. you can't stand her, and I see the look I'm getting, but you hate her, and that's yeah. the idea, isn't that right? <laughs> She's one I genuinely can't even stand to see on the screen, and I think that's. A good thing, obviously, for her character, but it's miserable for me to experience. <laughs> She's doing her job. Right, and that's that's the thing. Is like a, one, another big size. Like, you know, you look at some of the, like, over history, it's like, yeah, who do you really can't stand because of their character? Right. Now, like, there are times, like, you know, even though she's a great heel, there are times that I just don't want to see Charlotte. I don't right. care. But yeah, she's yeah, a great yeah. heel. But yeah. sometimes she, I don't want to see her because I don't want to see her. <laughs> right, like, yeah, right. Like, yeah, Charlotte has, like, as they call it, go-away heat. Yeah. Where, you know, like, yeah, it's like, yeah, she's a heel, but 
we're sick of looking at you. And I get that. Right. With Bailey, it was like, yeah, you, you know, when she cut her hair, you Yo, know, the whole thing. She the whole destroyed the Bailey buddies. Like, oh. absolutely massacred those men. Unbelievable. The whole thing was well done. And she did an excellent job. Yeah, absolutely. And right here, I'm going to insert a clip of Scooby talking about Bailey. <laughs> he, he, he pretty much said the same thing about how she carried that company in 2020. And like, so yeah, it's, everybody agrees. Yeah, yeah she was the, by far the unsung hero of the Thunderdome era. Yeah, absolutely. Was her and Drew. Yep. Yeah, and, I was going to say, because Drew gets a lot of credit for carrying the Thunderdome era, but like, really, it was a combination. Like, yeah. yeah. Drew was the men's side, but then you had Bailey. Right. She was big, a big deal, man. And also, like, Bailey puts a lot of work into, like, putting people over in ring, too, which so yeah. she gets a lot of respect, too. 100%. Like, not that she wouldn't be, but, like, Bianca Belair got a lot over with Bailey, and so mm -hmm. did, you know. And it was, like, it was interesting because... We had all been like, Bailey turning heel. And then we were like, oh my God, Bailey turning heel. Yeah, like, right. And it's great to see that because you, like, somebody you think couldn't do it was yeah. Yeah, top heel but of the company. It, it took her a little while to kind of get the character going. Right. Yeah. But, you know, you could, you could, especially if you go back and watch some of the old stuff now, mm -hmm. uh, you could see this like, yeah, okay, she was, <laughs> she knew where it was going to go. Right. right, but it was you know it, it was kind of a it took a little while for the crowd to kind of get on board and you couldn't really get the crowd reaction because of Thunderdome, but then yeah. you turn around and look at the reaction she was getting on Twitter right. and whatnot. It's like okay, well, okay, she's yeah. on to something. You know, and to that point, you know, because obviously we have so much access to these guys and girls, you know, she's like the nicest person in the world. So you know, her to for the transition to to the top female heel, you know, during a pandemic with nobody, no crowd to feed off of, at least in front of her face, uh, is pretty impressive because she's the, she's the girl that, if you you know, when you hear interviews from other women wrestlers, they always say that she's the one, she's the one that they go to. Like, yeah, Bailey's the one that always supports me. I'm the one I always go to Bailey for advice, all that kind of stuff. So, you know, I'm so to have that sort of in real life and then, you know, to be able to pull off this hero role as well as she did. Yeah, hats off to her. I think that she's the one that the iconic stayed with when they first came over. That I believe that's correct. I think yep. that's who they credited. Like, yo, know, without her, we wouldn't have been able to stay here long term. She right. gave us a place to stay. And then speaking of great heel acts. Yeah. Good call. Absolutely. Yep. I love the iconics. Absolutely. Because that's so best. much I gave somebody a cameo for it. <laughs> that's true i may have to put a, i may have to put a clip of that up there but i don't know if it'll get us dmca because it's cameo well mm -hmm. no you'll be fine I, you'll but be fine. but i still i actually i downloaded it it's still in my phone nice when i bought a new phone it made it to the new phone <laughs> so uh Sweet. but the um but the thing with the iconics and is is that they yes they were heels but they were hilarious like yes. they were they were just the proper amount of obnoxious yep. that they were still funny, mm -hmm. but they weren't like overdoing it. It's not right. like it's kind of comparing it to like Madcap Moss, where uh -huh. his whole thing was supposed to be he's he's supposed to be so cringe that it's it's one of those things where it's kind of funny and then it's not funny, but then it goes so long it's funny again. Yeah, like right. they they complete the circle. He only mm -hmm. got oh no, it's just not funny anymore. Yeah, exactly so, right. Yep. But but so they, they were really good. Um, there's there's two that I want to talk about that were actually really good heels in NXT, mm -hmm. although one became a face organically, but um is but but then come up to the main roster and I don't think do well as faces. Bianca Belair, mm -hmm. I think I understand why she's a face yeah i just liked her because she she shit talks so well yes that you know and and she she almost like she was good enough that she could have done like Dwayne, where yeah. 
it doesn't matter if she's heel or face. She just like, or kind of like what they did with Becky a little bit. Doesn't yeah. matter if she's heel or face. She's just going to talk the same shit. Yeah. It's just who she's right. talking to. Right. Yeah. Right. And, right. Um, and or so she I cheats kinda, every now and again. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. So I miss like heel Bianca. I understand why she's face now, and I think she does good with the at being yeah. face, but a little too aw shucksy. Right. For, for quite a while, but I think they're kind right. of getting away from that a little bit now. She's just kind of more like bring it on, sort of. Right. Which would be great because I would like her run to be better than her last one, but if they continue the same character trend, it won't be, I, unfortunately, in my opinion. Yeah. Well, like I said, she's there. She's kind of gotten away from the I'm just so happy and Yeah, and, which and right. Right. And then like she's the like, like yeah, right. yeah. And yeah. the other one is Rhea. Mm. I think yeah. when 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 Rhea was okay now now we're starting now we're starting to look a little animated over in that corner. Um, the, uh, <laughs> the 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 thing the thing with her is like when she first you know came to NXT and like you know and and I think she she was in the first May Young Classic or was it the second? <laughs> Good question. Which was one did... one, was one of the May Young Classics? Yeah. Um, <laughs> Wait, who won the first May Young Classic? Was that was that Storm? No. Was that Tony? Ooh. Yes, yes, yeah. It had okay, to be. then that's what Rhea was in that one as well, yeah. and she, she was lost a heel. To Tony in the quarter, right? Uh, or did or she the, lose to um Io or Kyrie? Because that I don't remember. Yeah, Kyrie Zane or Io Shirai won one of the other ones. Ky no, it was uh, it was Kyrie Zane. That one one, yeah. So then she beat then Tony beat EO in the finals, or was EO not there yet? I don't think she, she might not have been there, but anyways, moving on, we're getting off topic. That's um, women, though, yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> the uh, but then she goes over to NXT UK and is just a fabulous heel, right? Like, she is just, I am like. Not not gimmick infringement, but it really was. I am the biggest, the strongest, the you yeah. know, and mm -hmm. and she was just beating the hell out of everybody, right? Um, and I think I was. She was was she the first NXT UK yeah. champ yeah. or was, yeah. yeah? And then Tony beat her for the belt eventually. Yeah, yeah. right. And, and that's then, when Rhea came over to America. Yeah, right. and she was still playing heel for for a while. And then she just like when she got into that feud with uh, Shayna. She, yeah. The, the, the crowd the, turned the her face. The crowd turned her face. Yep. Yeah. But, uh... Fine. I mean, it happens. So but I'm, I'm, apparently, she there's a rumor that she's dating Buddy Murphy. I don't know if that's yes. true. Or yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah, no, it's... It was, they confirmed it on Instagram. Interesting. Yeah. It's an interesting couple. Yeah. That's... I'm still... I'm still back on, uh... Raquel Mark... Raquel Gonzalez. What is she now? Raquel Rodriguez. 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 Yeah, yeah. Uh, and Braun Strowman. Yeah. Yeah, it just makes too much sense. Yeah, I know. It's like th th those kids; those kids are going to come out looking like Hogan. Which, speaking of True. her, that is somebody that needs to be heel again and not ever not be heel. I think she. I think she I is agree. heel now. She's is been she, working heel. Listen, like, so. Oh yeah, I saw clips of her debut. She was grinning a lot, but I didn't know if it was an evil. Yeah, grin. she just keeps smiling, so I don't know how she's a heel. Yeah, <laughs> that's a, that's I didn't know psychotic. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, but but, like, but I, I, I miss I miss heel Rhea. To, we to had summarize. mentioned. I agree. I'm glad yes. she's heel again. Yes, right. we had mentioned this last time. Rhea, Raquel, China, Beth Phoenix, like you know, with, like those build, like even Jordan Grace, they should be heels because you should have the you know underdog babyface trying to stop the dominant monster. Yeah, and those guys fit that so well. Right. And, I just think, you know, because you know, even Jordan Grace, like, in Impact, like, she's mm -hmm. fucking big. And yeah. she can throw, like, anybody. I don't yeah. care who it is. Like, Big Cass or yeah, she's legit. through the fucking crowd. So. Yeah. She's, <laughs> she, yeah, she's she married to Gresham, right? Yeah. Yes, her da fiance dating. I don't think they're, like, 100%. Uh, right. Well, they're, they're, they're together. Yeah. Okay. I'm just, I'm yeah, just I mean, making sure that. Yeah, like, I, think yeah, yeah I think they actually got married. Yeah. I think oh, did they? Oh, okay. I think so, yeah. By the way, she's an amazing follow on Twitter. Yes, yes she is. Like, she I is. don't even follow her on Twitter because I typically just try to streamline. But it's mm -hmm. one of those things where because you follow so-and-so, yep. you're going to see all of this other stuff. 
Right. And uh, and so I see her pop up on on my feet all the time, and she's hilarious. She is very funny. Yeah, she is. A lot of people get mad at her and mad at her because she has an OnlyFans. Just get out of her pockets. Dude, so does everybody that's not in WWE, so who cares? Yeah, I was like, oh, get, get out of their pockets. Please. I actually saw today, although I think it was it went down yesterday, but uh, Persia Parada uh-huh. had, had just tweeted OnlyFans. And just all of the people that think that they know how she runs her life or how she should run her life just in the comments. Yeah. Like, oh, you're too good for OnlyFans. Don't degrade yourself. And then followed by... Who the hell are you to say what is and isn't degrading to someone? It's just you so know? weird. I'm like, they're wrestlers. They're used to barely having their clothes on all the time. What's the big deal? I don't yeah. see the problem. And, and it's not and, – and, and you know none of the – and that's the thing with, like, none of these, these like, uh, wrestlers that are doing OnlyFans, they're not yeah. doing nudes. If no. you're basically just paying for Instagram. I, yeah. Actually, I think Jordan Grace is, isn't. Okay, well, I'm 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 talking about. Your I don't. Yeah, I don't think she's doing profile. news either. Actually. I don't think she is. She. Yeah, I don't think she is. See, I think she. I think she gets close, but I don't think she. Okay. She sort of addressed that from time to time. I don't think she does. Uh, but but yeah, but just just the whole that 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 was just something I wanted to throw in there, where it's like yeah. you know, it's like just just. I know OnlyFans has this like you know negative because everybody just thinks OnlyFans is porn. It's like right. no, ninety percent of OnlyFans. From from my guy because I'm not paying for OnlyFans. Thank you. Right. I have Instagram. Exactly. It's just it's just you know it's it's like you know it, it's, it's cool all just issues. like risque, but yeah. not it's yeah. It, that's and as far as that's it goes. the thing with like there's like especially Scarlet. It's literally just more of, like she'll post one picture of it and be like the rest of the photo shoot. So you already know what it is. You already know what it is, right? Yeah. 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 So, but I mean, you know, I'm not more power to him. Like, I'm not going to sit there and and if somebody says, "Hey, I've got OnlyFans," I'm gonna automatically be like, "Or, you know, it's, that, yeah, it's ridiculous." Yeah, speaking, it's, of, it's, speaking of Scarlet, that's another like uh, like the you know smoke show version is a phenomenal heel. Agreed. Oh yeah. my god. Yeah, I agree with that, hundred percent. Like I um yeah. I I think I think we we um skipped over it last week as well but i think the subject of alexa bliss has to come up we may have talked a little bit but she is such a natural heel oh my god yeah absolutely there it's it's effortless and and the thing is she's another one that's like in real life like behind the scenes apparently is like one of the nicest most beloved people backstage or whatever but because she has that all-american cheerleader kind of look Mm -hmm. to her and and all you have to do is add a little bit of sass, and she's just yeah. like a perfect deal. And the the goddess Alexa Bliss run because I'm not yeah. even talking about the the fiend lit. Right, I'm right, just talking right. about um, you know that run. That run was great. She was probably my favorite heel. Yep, like in, in the, well, just in the company period. Yeah, yep, she's very good. Agreed. Yeah, I remember Nia Jax mentioned you know, when they had that whole bullying angle. They they both talk about how hard it was because obviously they're friends mm-hmm. in real life, but but you know, but they love the shit out of each other. So, you know, it was really hard to sort of like bully somebody overweight and all that kind of stuff. Like they're just not obviously not her character, but but she pulled it off because she's really good at it. <laughs> so, you know. And 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 it took uh, and Alexa Bliss managed to make uh Nia Jax a face. Yes. One yes. of just and, that's, and that's true. That is true. And and, and granted, yeah, that, that it was before the whole reputation of like breaking people's faces and right, right. and almost killing Kyrie Sane and stuff. Yeah. But you know, but it's, she was a heel all the way up to to all of a sudden all Alexa yeah. Bliss had to do was bully her a little bit, and yep. all of a sudden she's like the poster child for be a star. Yep. Absolutely. Very much. But um and then the oh uh, there was somebody else I was going to mention and I kind I already I forgot oh and then of course you have just talking about natural heels because like I don't think if she ever comes back to wrestling Nia Jax or um, I can't say her name for real because I just can't pronounce it properly um, wow. okay but uh, you know because of her history and her reputation whether it's earned or not 
Yeah, she's never going to be a face again. And then another one, especially after what we're hearing, what I've been hearing today, Tessa Blanchard. Yeah, she'll never mm. be a face again. Dude, like, I don't understand. First of all, she... yeah, I don't know place? what happened this time. I didn't even hear. I didn't know that Wow's pissed at her. Uh, apparently, she bullied. Like she, they were doing a um, uh, a uh, uh, an acting course. Like you know, because oh, uh, okay, I did. Okay, yeah. yeah, and then she uh, she like went too far i guess is the the thought on that mm -hmm. and uh and so yeah that's the that's the deal on that and apparently like she's gone so uh I forget who way, was. yeah it's but crazy. she's another one that's like she's really good at being a heel although i i guess it's not acting <laughs> yeah, no, I think she's just a bitch. yeah yeah i mean that seems <laughs> to be the thing yeah, you know, I mean, we could find out in six months that it was all a smear campaign and just be like, okay. But right. I mean, you know, it's definitely where there's smoke, there's fire. I mean, yeah, think. there's too much of this happening for this yeah. to be yeah. like it's a lot part of her character. Yeah. Or, and it, well, it would be, but her real life character. It's, it's a shame. But, yeah, it, yeah, it, it sucks because she's so good. Like she's yeah, good, really man. legit talented. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, she is the first ever woman to hold a world title. Well, I don't know that, like a men's world title. I think that's first ever woman, period, right? Um, or, yeah. I mean, in any of the major ones, yes. Like, yeah. oh, uh, right. well, I'm, I'm sure, like maybe CZW or something, but yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, I, I, indies I, don't count for that statistic. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I, I don't think in WWE, AEW, obviously, they haven't been around long enough. WCW. Never, never went that. I said like China uh, held the IC title, but I think that was yeah. We're yeah, yeah but we're talking the world title. Um, no, right. That's what I mean. Like yeah, I think that was yeah. The Ring of we Honor got. didn't do it. Nope. Um. So and and new, obviously New Japan wouldn't. Anyways, I mean they have a whole they they have a separate company for yeah. For I was gonna say that's probably. a stardom, right? Stardom, yeah. Yeah. So I mean may, maybe yeah maybe some of the indies on the UK might have done something like that. Well, I mean even indies in the US, like you mentioned CZW or uh, or. Uh, what was the MTV one? <laughs> Wrestling Society X. Yeah, it's maybe, maybe <laughs> who knows? But um, but yeah, so yeah, un unfortunately, it's uh, it, it it's not looking good for Tessa, which yeah. which is a shame. Which is yeah, unfortunate. Yeah, there's gonna be an edit right there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, you know, so does. You know, Chelsea Green, I mentioned earlier, so she does a lot of good heel work. I mean, I know people don't watch Impact a lot, but she's doing stuff, you know, with NWA as well, you know. But obviously, working with her hubby, you know, they, they work pretty well together as being a-holes, so it always works pretty well. Yeah, I think um, Jade Cargill. Mm. Love me some I think, because I, I was like, we barely, we haven't even touched AEW, and yeah. To me, or I mean, I think we talked a little bit about last week. Britt Baker can't mm -hmm. be a will never be a true heel. She's got a full she, effect, too, unfortunately. Yeah, she's too over. Yeah, right. And I think she's she's getting a face turn soon, anyways. But Storm's um, not bad when she does heel stuff, but it's weird because she's kind of just the same as she is as a face, just cheats. Yeah, yeah. And Jimmy put, Hater put sucks and loves her. But uh, I think I don't think right. Nyla Rose gets quite the amount of credit she should get. Yeah, uh, because she she fits what we were talking about earlier about like you know the big strong like uh, yeah. monster that needs to be you know toppled or whatever. Right. Um, but uh, I, I I'm just I'm just waiting for them to actually let Jamie Hader run with it because hey, first of all I got a soft spot for Hader and. Um, but she's a really good heel as well. Um, mm -hmm. If you if you go take a look at her the stuff in Japan, yeah. you're like she's one of those obnoxious. You're like she did a little bit because she had a, a a very brief run in AEW. Uh, I think right before the pandemic, mm -hmm. and um, or, or maybe right after we started getting like uh, like live crowds again, where she was kind of doing her character from Japan, where she was, like, giving people wet willies while she has them in, like, a headlock yeah. and stuff. Oh, yeah, like, that's, yeah, okay. I yeah. That. I was going to say, I mean, also on, like, that sort of topic, uh, Blair Davenport or B Priestley is a good one, too. I mm -hmm. like her heel stuff, too. She, yeah. 
But she's, she's kind of just, I'm going to kick your ass and then does, so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I think she's due to come back soon. I think. Uh, yeah, her, she should be healed up. Probably. Yeah, she, I think she's just finishing up rehab. She should be back soon. Uh, Isla Dawn is an interesting heel mm. uh, from NXT UK for anybody. Um, but she's she's kind of like the scary vampire lady. So, but I was kind of rooting for her to win. I thought she might actually take the belt, but I think they're waiting for uh, for Priestley to get back. Because yeah. I, I refuse to call her Blair Davenport until she wins the belt. <laughs> she can spell. <laughs> so, all right. Um, is there is there any glaring omissions before we uh, before we wrap this up? Because I mean, I mean, you I think... know, we, we could talk, you know, I mean, she's sort of flip flop like like the big show, but, you know, Sasha Banks could be in the conversation. You know? She's another one that's a better heel than a face. She, yeah. Natalia okay. could be one too. Yeah, Natalia's a good heel. One. She's a good heel. Oh, you know what? Speak, speaking of NXT, uh, I, I, I don't think uh, we can get away with not mentioning Toxic Attraction. Yeah, because well, they've done a really well, good I, job of being super annoying. Yeah, they're annoying. yeah, all three of them too. Like yeah. Mandy's more in the mouthpiece, but the other two, when they do their stuff, it's yeah. annoying as hell. Yep. <laughs> JC Jane's got a lot better on the mic over the last few yes. months. Mm -hmm. I still yeah. think sneakily the best in the ring out of all of them is Gigi. Yeah, yeah, I won't, I won't argue that. I think if you go back and you look at their first promo that they cut as Toxic Attraction, both uh, Dolan and Jane were, eh. I don't think, yeah. But if you look at, like, recent promos, like, they've gotten a ton better and, like, way more comfortable yeah. on the mic. And I think, uh, I, I, on the other hand, I brought up Jade Cargill earlier. I think it was because... <sighs> They all, I mean, we've even pointed it out before where Jade Cargill was green and all this stuff, you know. And, yeah, she was, which is fine. Everybody is at some point. But uh, oh, where I think she's still a little green is on the mic and her having um, the uh, uh, Dan Housen's friend as uh, as her mouthpiece is uh, it has yeah. done wonders because she's, she said, and she's getting better at the promo stuff too, but early on it was just like, you know, let him do it. It's like the Brock Lesnar thing. Let him be the mouthpiece because the, the wrestler's weak at talking. Kind of like I think hers was more of a comfort thing. But she's leaps and bounds. Probably the she's probably the best heel in AEW. On the women's side. No, oh, yeah. I was like, what the hell? No, 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 no. But, I, but you know, we're just specifically. because <laughs> I was like, okay, I know Corey's not here, but even I'm going to say no to that one. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, the and, – and and it's going to be good. Like, I root for her to lose every single time because yeah. she's the bad guy. Right. You know, and, and I'm like, oh, it would be cool if Marina Shafir beat her. Or, oh, it would be cool if – um, God, I – just everybody on the planet who's Ty like you know, basically, basically the only person like like there was no way Julia Hart was winning against her, but uh, <laughs> other than that, yeah, you know, I was just like, oh, 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 this is gonna be the one, this is gonna be the one, and she got me invested in her streak. So, yeah, which I'm glad they've kept as long as I have. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. Like I, I was just like as a fan. No, no, know, no. I, 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 know. It. I know what you mean. You know, I was like, just saying that I'm glad they didn't do something stupid. Yeah. In reality, yeah. like, like if she's 60 and 0, I'd be fine. So, yeah, for real. so because we actually get to see these ones on TV, so we don't have to worry about, like, you know, AEW inflating the undefeated numbers. Right. This is true. Goldberg. And so, even if they do, it's going to be on dark, and then we'll see the result, and she should win that every time anyways, because everyone does. Yes. Right. <laughs> So, True. all right, we're about out of time. So, uh, hopefully, between last week's episode and this week's episode, I can uh, I can edit together a cohesive <laughs> piece of media. It's gonna be very weird because you're gonna have like Jesse and then Big Sean. <laughs> so it's gonna yeah. be like, wait, what yeah. the? So, so, <laughs> all right. so 
All right, as usual, picks are going to be at the end of the video, um, and hopefully I'll have this out on Saturday. So uh, I've been Big Papa Grump. Everybody say bye. Top presenter out. She, she still didn't say any of that. Easily. I can think of two of them very easily, and for very different reasons. Charlotte, I don't like Charlotte at all. I hate her, and that's why she's in this list. Yeah. It's she does her job so well that I genuinely do not want to see her on my screen every week. You know? And of course, in the complete opposite direction, Bailey, who I've always loved and just feel like she just got better as a heel. I mean, she carried the company during, you know, the Thunderdome COVID era. And I... I love Sasha Banks, but because it's all current, I'm going to go with, you know, Mickey James just because, you yeah. know, got to love that. <laughs> it's just, see, you got it works so well. And yeah. You got crazy Mickey and cowgirl shit, Mickey. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, that, that version is just shit, Mickey. <laughs> uh, Sonny Deville. Oh, yeah. I mean, you know, because I was sitting there waiting for someone else to bring it up. Uh, but first of all, no one likes an authority figure because, like, the biggest heel in wrestling during the entire Daniel Bryan prime was Stephanie was, McMahon. Was the Raw general manager. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, they – and the – and what's funny is, like, Steph still – like, Steph hasn't been on TV – Forever. We'll get back to Sonya Deville in a sec. Uh, but Steph is like never on TV. But she comes out to the ring to do anything like give an award and they're booing her because they're still mad at her about Daniel Bryan. Yeah, well, that's good. But, uh, but yeah, but so that le leads into like nobody liking uh, an authority figure. And then you have Sonya Deville who. For one thing, nobody wants to see her as an authority figure anyways, because when she came back, everybody first of all, everybody was just happy she was back. I love how when she came back, she just happened to be like just chilling out backstage. But yeah, like, that right. was her her reintroduction was like do 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 Sonia Deville. Hi. Yeah. Like, what? what? <laughs> there was a wild Sonia Deville signing. It's like it's like that Sasquatch photo. But the um and then, you know, so suddenly she's an authority figure with Adam Pierce and you know they don't have authority figures but you know I guess I love not how either. this has nothing to do with Sonya Deville but I love how because Russell Talk points it out all the time where they're like okay well this little argument in the beginning of the, the match well we now have a main event and it's yeah. Randy Orton and uh, Riddle and for no reason Finn Balor against the blue meanie and you know whatever and but it begs the question it's like what was your so you guys did didn't just get screwed out of a main event spot or did you not have an end to the show yeah, yeah. thank you yeah. Or, but my theory is is that they go into every show and they're like well okay <sighs> something's gonna happen at the beginning of the show we don't need to plan anything we'll just the, the match will make itself you know? i like that thought process but they're probably also like yeah we uh we heard um, Jimmy Smith say "Welcome to Monday Night Raw," and Vince freaking ripped up the script, so we don't know what the hell's going on. <laughs> yeah. So, but uh, but I Sonya, what? Sonya's <laughs> towards the end. First of all, when Sonya turned on Mandy, mm. that was one of the best heel promos like ever. Like because you actually felt like you could be like, okay. I, I don't think that's what was happening, Sonya, but I certainly see why you think that. Yeah. Like, no, you're obviously upset. And, yes, you've been playing second fiddle to Mandy. And we see what kind of person she is now that she's NXT champ. So, I guess Sonya was right the whole time. Now, speaking of which, <laughs> now that you mention it, that's a top heel and probably will be considered a top heel of all time as well. Who? Mandy. That is, she is a great heel. Don't, don't you do that. I, I think I think you're giving her a little bit too much credit at this point, but well, she is NXT right now. Like 
She's carrying the women's division. Uh, okay, she's, she's carrying, carrying the whole brand. <laughs> now you you're underselling Braun Breaker. <laughs> yeah. no, I not. understand that. <laughs> and, to, and by the way, Tony D'Angelo. Okay, but, see, this is why Mandy is carrying the entire division. Or company, <laughs> company. All of WWE, I stand by that. <laughs> so now, uh, does Corey physically have the belt yet? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I gave it to him the like the day after he won it. Okay. He met me at work. I'm standing in the parking lot of my work. Who are holding in there? And one like between the two of us, one of us is holding this wrestling belt. <laughs> and and, and it's, here's the what was funny is that most of the people that walked by didn't even really they they, they looked at us like that wrestling belt. Okay. And by the way, what um. What I'm planning on doing, if we ever actually get one of those ones where you guys are in, you're, you know, you're in, we've got Big Sean, Kevin, Corey, and House Show, and it just looks like a, it looks like Hollywood Squares on the screen. <laughs> I'm just gonna put myself in the middle and like DM. I'm just gonna be like, okay, what you, yeah, you know, I'll just sit back and I'll wait for everybody to talk, and then occasionally I'll just be like, I'll pick someone new to talk, and then make them roll for initiative, but um. <laughs> I mean, he had an NXT championship run, so I guess he came back. That's NXT the best like, thing he's done since. That was black and gold. We don't count black and gold anymore. It's not canon anymore. It's like, yeah. the, Star, it's like the Star Wars Extended Universe. All those books I bought don't count. Yeah. Well, that's what they want you to think. <laughs> we'll see what, what's funny. Okay, now we're get, definitely getting off topic. What, the the funny thing about that is that they made like the entire extended universe canon or non canon, and then started picking stuff from the extended universe and making it canon again, like Revan. Yeah, you know, like I'm just waiting another like another couple of months, and you'll see like the, there's they're going to announce a Mara J TV show. Yeah. Okay, I've completely lost little Rhea. See. <laughs> There's there's a group of there's a series of films called, that are all under the Star Wars banner. <laughs> well, when it, it reached a certain nerd level, and then there are about a thousand novels, handfuls of video games, uh, and they took all and that all those novels and video games are what they call the extended universe. And when Disney bought Star Wars or Lucasfilm, Disney said. No, none of that counts. And then they said, wait, I forgot how much cool shit was in there. Okay, this counts. And okay, this one, this one counts again too. Fine, this one too. Ooh, Just, movies, movies are good. Movies are fine. Okay. Yeah. Just anything beyond. Yeah, it's pretty much as if it had an episode number and was shown in theaters, it was fine. Yeah. Yeah, all the, all the movies in the Clone Wars series, they were all canon. And, and uh, then like, they did, like, Revan and, like, Rebels and stuff. And it's like, wow, all of a sudden, yeah. the canon, huh? What happened? Because because Rebels was canon. They uh, And then Revan sh was mentioned in it. Yeah. They're like, oh, shit, Revan's, Revan's can canon. And, oh, crap, so is Bastila. Annoying bitch. But yeah, um, I'm going to have to edit the shit out of this video. <laughs>